Today we'll be disassembling, then reassembling a Ruger Mark IV magazine. An Allen wrench or a punch is going to be needed to depress the retaining plunger. Let's look at the bottom of the base plate. The base plate has a small hole where the magazine block retaining plunger keeps the magazine and the base plate together. I'll be using a 332 Allen wrench to press that plunger in. If it's pushed in too far, the base plate will not slide off. The plunger just has to be pushed in a little bit while sliding the base plate towards the front. As you slide the base plate off slowly, keep your thumb ready to keep the magazine spring from flying out along with the plunger. Keep your thumb on the magazine and slowly allow the spring to extend out. The spring is connected to the follower, so when you pull the spring out, the follower and the follower button will come down with it. The light pole will detach the spring from the follower. The follower button can get removed from the follower when it's at the circular opening. Once the follower button is removed, the follower can come out. The plunger, spring, base plate, follower, and follower button can now be cleaned if needed. Now let's start reassembling the magazine. Start with the follower and follower button. Make sure the angle at the top of the follower matches the angle at the top of the magazine. Now slide the follower in from the bottom and try to get the hole to sit at the circular opening. You can tap it a bit to get it to line up properly. Now push the follower button back into place. When sliding the follower up and down, the button should remain attached to the follower. Next is the magazine spring and plunger. When placing the spring back in, make sure it lines up with the inside front walls of the magazine. If not, it'll move around and may mess up the spring if you force it, or if it gets stuck and you have to yank it out. Push the spring in a little at a time so it doesn't bend, and guide it down. Once it's as far as it can go, the easiest way to get the rest in is by pushing the other end of the spring onto the retaining plunger. This way it's nicely bunched up and easier to push back in. Once everything is back in, be careful to keep a finger on the plunger to prevent everything from flying out. Now let's get the base plate. As you're keeping the plunger pressed in, slide the base plate firmly over it. Keep pressure so the spring doesn't push it out of your hand, and then slide the base plate in. The plunger will click back into the base plate and keep the magazine together. Push the base plate to test and make sure that it doesn't come off. And finally, slide the follower button down and up to check that the magazine is moving properly. properly. 